family means everything to me. People think because my dad spent time in the NFL that life's easy for me. Nothing's been handed to me on a silver platter. My little sister is three. My little brother is five. I can change their lives. When I fly through the air, you see a holler, a vicious dunk, a body bag. I see a future. Hey man, get up. I'm go work. Stupid tired. And these are just like hedgehogs people bought me. I went to the CP3 camp when I was like in seventh grade. We were playing the showcase in Dallas, and so we were see what we were these. And so I just like them because we got the name on the back and everything. That's my grandpa. Played football at Gremlin, at Gremlin on the university. He could have went to the league, but he blew out his knee the second over there. He played for the Buccaneers and the Broncos and played arena football. And he blew out his knee as well. So they're trying for the third time. What are some of the determining factors that, that are gonna make you ultimately decide to go to one school or another? Um, just the, just relationships with the coach and the players, um, the role they give me and how I feel about the campus and just about the school in general. We raised you to be a dog, man, in all aspects. I was definitely not built for basketball. I, I, I wasn't blessed to be 6'9". 6'8 uh, and a half. And, 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 uh, and super athletic like you. I was athletic, but I wasn't nowhere near that, that athletic. I must have got it from my mom then. Definitely got it from some credit. Dave, she was blowing my phone talking about, you got this from me. That's how you join Hedgehog film. You have to make somebody say, I haven't seen that before in the game. And just like do something that's different. Cause that's what we stand for. We're not like other people. We're different. You already know I'm about to go to school. It's time to get this work in. You did? Here's the just the whole locker room. Your stuff is everybody else's, basically. Nobody's safe. Since I have my hair in this picture, I'm bald now. You think it's funny, Diego? We just wrote this on a wall for a kid that died. His name was Miles Hudson. It just devastated us all because like he was this type of kid. He was positive, really positive, really religious, and just never had never seemed to have a bad day. Like he always be remembered. Because I'd rather us win it over them. Greg Brown, the person, he's really nice. Greg Brown on the court, that's probably the meanest person you ever meet before in your life. Come here. That was hot as hell. So I just finished my last class for the day. Um, I finna go hit the um, steady conditioning work out with my uncle face, and then go work on some shooting and fundamentals with my um, uncle Rod. Here's our basketball wall. Yeah, they forgot to put the 2019 up, but I, yeah, I won the MVP. Here's the one that we won this year for winning um, the playoff game. I'm about to take all of them down. There's a kid named Drayton Whiteside. He had like literally all of them before I did, then I just came on and took over. And I'm still about to take his stuff. Which one are you most proud of? The blocks. It's 18, I thought it was 16. Yeah, they just kept on coming in the paint. I'm trying to get the assist record and the three-point record. That's why I keep on telling coach to put me at point guard. Functional work, linear work, speed work. I'm about to go get the strength and conditioning work out in. Trying to keep my bounce. Yeah. Right here, this is my only way out. Basketball is the only thing that helped me have a good life, so this is my only option right now. That's what I mean. Sports thing always brings a different element out of, out of most people. He's turning into this new, this new animal. The court is not big enough for Greg Brown III. How can you defend him? But he's just an all-around good, goofy dude. What do I see for five years? Playing in the NBA. This is the reason why I got bounced right here, and the reason I can move so 
quick for my height. It's 50 50. Sometimes I really want to be like, dang, quit talking to me, but like, I know it's gonna help me get better. So, like, let me just take it in, work hard, and just um, use it for the long term. Mm, I'm going to the gym, work out my uncle, work on some pick and roll stuff. It's more, more yeah. Big guard, yeah. Some big guard stuff. Big guard you. I got it from um, KJ Pruitt. I used to play with him for the Sea, sea Wolves. And he started this thing called like Big Guard U. It's like, there's guards over 6'5 or just stocky, stocky point guards. First, we always start with a little ball handling. Uh, just working on hand-eye coordination and footwork. Keeping his hips squared up to, his, to the basket, his feet squared up and finishing high. You knew even from when he was, you know, 13 years old that he was going to be a different he's he's just a different type of player you know he i don't think he gets enough credit for his guard skills and his ability to handle the ball and his ability to shoot from the outside uh, and i think a lot of people are starting to see that more and more special is always the one that comes to mind because he's he's so talented um, but also at the same time he's grounded i'm about to smack him and him and her at golf, because you know I'm the best one here. Especially gotta be him, because he always talk trash. That was good, okay. That's the best one I've ever seen you do. Hey, I like it. When the cameras come through the door, you wanna act like you know what you're doing, right? I, I like it, I like it. Come on, dog, you have to do me like that. <laughs> you have to do me like that. Hey, we gotta work on this, like he works on his basketball, he might be all right. Look at his swing. It's disgusting. You talking about my man's swing? Yeah. Well, at least he gets the ball. <laughs> the dream to be an NBA legend is always have been to, since I was in fifth grade. I want to make it big. Like, I want to surpass lots of people in the NBA. Like, I want to be a name. I want everybody to keep my name relevant even when I'm done playing basketball. That's how big I want to do it. Because like I don't want to be the next generation to to like be standing in the tunnel and not make it. We still have more to go. My dad always told me once you reach that 300 million, then then we somewhat made it. So yeah, I'll just say just keep working. My little sister, my little brother. I love them. Can't really complain. At this age, I really I don't think they know what's going on. So you just like trying to figure out like what's happening. And it's a blessing as well because not many people have the opportunity to change their families' lives for the better. You know, overtime is everywhere. We got all the highlights. We chill with all the players who made us. I want to meet them. Check out all the videos right here and subscribe. You heard. <laughs>